The Citizens Advisory Council on National Space Policy was a group of prominent U.S. citizens concerned with the space policy of the United States of America. It is no longer active. History The Council's roots date to 1980 as a group which prepared many of the Reagan administration transition team's space policy papers. The Council was formally created in 1981 by joint action of the American Astronautical Society and the L-5 Society to develop a detailed and technically feasible space policy to further the national interest. Participant Gregory Benford would in 1994 describe the activities of the Council The Council, a raucous bunch with feisty opinions, met at the spacious home of science fiction author Larry Niven. The men mostly talked hard-edged tech, the women policy. Pennell stirred the pot and turned up the heat. Amid the buffet meals, saunas and hot tubs, well-stocked open bar, and myriad word processes, fancies simmered and ideas cooked, some emerging better than half-baked. Finally, we settled on recommending a position claiming at least the moral high ground, if not high orbits. Defense was inevitably more stabilizing than relying on hair-trigger offense, we argued. It was also more principled. And eventually, the Soviet Union might not even be the enemy, we said, though we had no idea it would fade so fast. When that happened, defenses would still be useful against any attacker, especially rogue nations bent on a few terrorist attacks. There were plenty of science fiction stories, some many decades old, dealing with that possibility. The Advisory Council met in August of 1984 in a mood of high celebration. Their pioneering work had yielded fruits unimaginable in 1982 Reagan himself had proposed the Strategic Defense Initiative, suggesting that nuclear weapons be made, "...impotent and obsolete". The Soviets were clearly staggered by the prospect. Years later I heard straight from a senior Soviet advisor that the USSDI had been the straw that broke the back of the military's hold on foreign policy. That seems to be the consensus now among the diplomatic community, though politically SDI is a common whipping boy, its funding cut. Meetings. <laughs> <laughs> November, 1980 July, 1983 May 9–11, 1986 August 10, 1997 Reports Spring, 1981 the 28th of September 1983 Substantial portions of this report were later published in the book Mutual Assured Survival by and Books 1984 by Jerry Pennell and Dean Ng Spring 1986 February 15th 1989 March 20th 1994 Topic Membership Jerry Pennell, Chairman Topic Astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Gerald Carr, Fred Hayes, Phil Chapman, Pete Conrad Topic Aerospace industry George Merrick, North American Rockwell, Space Division, George Gould, Gordon Woodcock, Gary Hudson, George Koopman, Maxwell Hunter, Art Doula Topic 
Space scientists and engineers Lowell Wood, G. Harry Stein, Eric Lawson, Chuck Lindley, James Benford, Maxwell Hunter, George Gould Military officers retired. Lieutenant General Daniel O. Graham, USA Reeted, Brigadier General Robert Richardson, USAF Reeted, Major General Stuart Mayer, USA Reeted, Col. Jack Coakley, USA Reeted, Col. Francis X. Kane, USAF Reeted. Topic: Computer scientists. Marvin Minsky, Danny Hillis, John McCarthy, David Mitchell. Topic: Science fiction authors and publishers. Paul Anderson, Greg Bear, Robert A. Heinlein, Gregory Benford, Dean Ng, Stephen Barnes, Jim Byan, Larry Niven. Topic: Others. Stephen T. Possany, B. J. O. Trimble, Alexander C. Pinnell, James Miller Vaughan Jr.